So we're back at the boat show. We're looking at the Kinetic 62. This is a semi-custom performance build out of South Africa. We'll take a look at the bridge deck. It has really pretty amazing clearance. Got flat power boat style sterns. Rod holder. Miniature uh, elec uh, elec electric B and G electric panel on the side. The grill. Seating on the transom. As well as a tiller. So this boat can be steered just sitting on the side over here. Cockpit, composed of a split pair of sofas as well as a table for dining outside. As you go forward, you'll notice the theme on the boat is carbon. Pretty much the entire boat is made of carbon. Uh, if they can make it out of carbon, they made it out of carbon. And if they could avoid using stainless, they did so. Uh, these lifelines are rope, and this rigging is carbon as well. Flush mounted hatches. Carbon bowsprit. They're carbon crossbeam, which is integrated with the carbon bowsprit. Hydraulically assisted furlers, uh, as well as a inboard furler and a another furler for your code zero or light air sails. The boat does have a forward cockpit. It's a favorite feature of the designer. So it sailed basically like a Chris White boat. I mean he's been doing it for a while. It's really not that outlandish to include a forward cockpit. On charter boats, people mostly uh, use them for leisure, but, you know, it can be serious uh, sailors as well. The rig is also carbon, and I'm repeating myself here a lot, but yes, that is the theme. Has a nice wide Park Avenue boom. Let's take a look at the rig, only a single spreader. It's what you can do with composite rigging, really. Not go with fully vertical windows. There's a bit of a uh, slight uh, angle here, but so the lines of the boat. You've also got these steps up here that give you access to the hard top. You've got a pair of Harkins for controlling the lines that all come out of the coach roof. Watertight doors. We'll make our way inside. So inside the cockpit, we've got a really nice, uh, pretty much in semi-enclosed galley. You just got one entrance, tons of countertop space, your oven, induction cooktop, uh, dual basin sink, and your indoor dining area. They do build these in a semi-custom manner, so as far as layout goes, uh, let your imagination run wild. And in the inside we have, I think, the most interesting feature of this boat, which was a little contentious when it was announced, but it's actually pretty amazing. You've got an interior helm station with a wheel, all of your electronics, B and G in this case. They can install whatever you want. We've got a nav station off to the side, and we're gonna do a visibility test, and you can really see all four corners of the boat. You know, there's no hard top, which will block your visibility. They, when they were designing the boat, I asked them about this, and they said they really 
wanted to make sure you could see all four corners of the boat. If you adjust that window a bit, it's not easy to see, but we'll do a slow pano. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting what they decided to do here. We'll make our way to the starboard hole. The interior is quite plain, but nothing fancy. She's made for speed. We've got lots of ventilation up there on top of the bed. as well as closet for storage. I'm not sure if the model comes included with the boat, but you have the head. This is a proper wet head, so everything just drains down through the floor with a detachable shower. Here you have another raised uh, bed with the storage beneath it. And the enclosed shower stall. This would qualify as I think the master the master head. with its accompanying sink and vanity. And it's the same thing on the port side, another raised bed. another shower stall and this one has a dual two bit two sink basins instead of one have a nice office space here if you prefer to work remotely as many people do if you're a digital nomad so to speak as well as this sofa so that is the kinetic 62 if you enjoyed this please be sure to like subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one